Hey, I'm Steve from Camp Chef, and I want to show you my version of the perfect ribs. And I want to take you step by step and show you just how I got this rubbed, ribbed perfection. So I'm going to show you how I do baby back ribs in the pellet grill. And now, one of the key steps, and I think a lot of people miss this, is peeling the membrane on the back. Take a knife, and you're going to score right along one of the bones here. And what that's doing is that's separating that membrane or scoring that membrane there so we're able to peel it off. Use the paper towel and once you get a hold of the membrane, as you can see, it peels off really, really easily. I found a good one out there. It's Emerald's Rib Rub. You can buy it at most grocery stores here in the country. I like it. It's got the right flavor to me. Uh, not quite sweet enough, which is why you see the brown sugar here. So anyway, I take the lid off of it, dump that whole thing into a bowl and once you've done that then I take a third a cup or so sometimes as much as a half a cup of brown sugar and I'll mix those together then you've got to use a fork because you do get it does get clumped up a little bit so use a fork to make sure to mix that in together real well we're going to take it on here sprinkle it on to the concave side of the ribs you can roll it right over so we're going to stack them convex side up, still put a cookie sheet or a tray or something underneath it because it will leak. All right, so we're starting early this morning. We pulled the ribs out of the refrigerator, unwrapped them. We're gonna get the pellet grill going now. We've gotta make sure there's enough pellets in there, which is the fuel source here. I've got some hickory. There's already some apple in there. That's the mixture I like. That's up to you though. That's part of the fun here. You can decide what you wanna put in there. Pull out a little bit of the hickory pellets in here. Make sure it's turned on. You can see the digital readout here shows that it's on. We're going to slide it right over to high smoke, which is the setting I like to run uh, when I do ribs. It's about 225 or so. So we're going to smoke it for three hours. Then we'll take it out, base it with a little bit of sauce, wrap it, smoke it for two more hours, about the same temp, then unwrap it back on the smoker again for the last hour. So three, two, one, six hours total. Great way to do ribs. And we'll set them meat side up so as that fat renders it stays in the meat and it goes down through the meat not just drops right off into the pan below. Alright the ribs have been in here for about three hours remember on the high smoke setting so about 225. We're going to go ahead and pull them out of here and uh, baste them with some barbecue sauce and then wrap them up. So we'll wrap that up completely slide that right back into the smoker there and it's going to go for two hours in here. We're going to go two hours. All right, so the ribs have been wrapped in the foil in the smoker here at 225 for about two hours. We'll slide them out to the shelf. This is a nice little accessory on this pellet grill. I like having it. Sure, it gives you a lot more work area. It's very, very moist, which is a great time to adjust your smoker back to high smoke and put a little smoke into it. But you're going to throw it right back on the rack. If you wanted to at this point, you could spray it with some juice, apple juice, something along those lines, or even throw some more barbecue sauce. I like my ribs a little drier, so I'm just going to leave them the way they are with the uh, barbecue sauce I put on them before we started. All right, it's been an hour. Let's check these ribs. I think they're probably pretty good. They were close when we pulled them out of the foil, but we'll finish them here. So they look really good. They've dried out a little bit, which is fine. It, they're, they're still going to be moist on the inside with that fat there. This is my version of the perfect ribs. For this recipe, and many others, and more information about this really cool pellet grill, go to CampChef.com.